Hi there, it's Naomi here and it has been a while since I've done a video for your freedom steps, I confess. The Christmas and New Year has been so full and thriving and that in itself is a complete miracle because 14 years ago I was at the absolute depth of my struggles with addictive eating and Christmas seemed to really bring all those foods, all those behaviours, all the difficulty with family just kind of compounding how troublesome I found it, reaching for the wrong foods, being overweight, finding my health and energy levels completely rock bottom. And so it's a brilliant thing that I've been too busy in some ways because it's like life flourishing and health flourishing even at this time of year which has typically been a struggle for many of us that struggle with food. And today I want to just talk briefly about willpower because back in those days of difficulty, I used to give myself hell telling myself that unlike other people who just had strong will around food, I was weak, I was um, a failure, I, I was just a loser because I couldn't take a few chocolates and leave the rest, I couldn't have just one biscuit, you know, I had to have the, have the whole thing. And I would look at other people that were able to just have one bite of chocolate cake and then say, oh, that's a bit rich and push the rest away. And I'd think, oh my God, those guys are just hard as nails. What's wrong with me that having had one bite, if I can manage to force myself away from it, it's on my mind until I somehow manage to get it later. But actually, I was wrong. There was nothing wrong with willpower. The thing that was wrong was that I have this issue with food, that my brain just is hardwired like that around food. What was difficult was my misconception of willpower. Willpower isn't some kind of uh, bottomless resource that we all have and if we're too much of a loser like I was not to use it, then somehow that's my failure. Willpower is actually a brain function that we use and diminish gradually throughout the day. And it's not just resisting certain foods that diminishes our willpower, it's also the functioning of a busy life. It's checking emails, it's being uh, sensible with people, uh, uh, regulating our emotions, being an adult in the world. And so as the glucose levels in our brains get lower and lower, when we're hungry and tired and exhausted after the end of a, an emotionally or mentally draining day, it's little wonder that we reach for the wrong foods, the ones that get us started with addictive eating. So what is my cure for that? Since our brains are never going to change probably, we're always going to have this issue with willpower and low glucose levels in the brain leading to wrong choices and tiredness. Well, what helped me was when I started to get really serious and aware about my food issues, I realised that I needed a plan. and more than perhaps any other area, I would say the slightly annoying little cliche of fail to plan, plan to fail is true. It was only when I really got down to planning my food in the morning when my brain was fresh and alert, planning what I was gonna eat, when I was gonna eat, where I was gonna eat it, even how I was gonna eat it, as in calm, relaxed, and giving it enough time. It wasn't until then that I shifted into one of the most vital self-caring um, disciplines, I guess, or routines in my life, that I really started to experience the renewed energy, the sustainable weight loss, and the joy and happiness that I know is the birthright of anyone that struggles with these issues. So, willpower, I don't know if there's much we can do about it. Planning, there is a hell of a lot we can do about it. And that's the good news. We can, in the morning, when we're bright and alert, take care with love, our own evening selves, the selves we know that we'll become, or afternoon selves even, the selves we know that we'll be when our willpower just is low because that's the way it is. So thank you so much for listening to this New Year, New Year's resolutions gone wrong, perhaps healing, video and if you've liked what I've shared then please press like on this video, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions about the content feel free to reach out to me and I will certainly create another video or a blog in answer to your question. Thanks.